humanoid machines are entering the workplace with the announcement of two robots that are just getting started. Leading this progress are Aptronix Apollo and Rainbow Robotics RBY1, each offering unique capabilities and designs that could transform how humans work. But what can they do? Part 1. Robot Use Cases Aptronix Apollo Humanoid Robot has just secured a commercial agreement with Mercedes-Benz to assist in automotive manufacturing. These human-like assistants are being trialed to inspect and deliver components to human workers on the production line, automating physically demanding, repetitive tasks that are increasingly difficult to staff. Meanwhile, Rainbow Robotics RBY1 presents a unique configuration dubbed a bimanual manipulator. It features a wheeled robot base with a humanoid double-arm robot on top, combining the best of mobile robots and dexterous manipulators. This innovative design allows for efficient navigation through various environments while offering unparalleled versatility in performing complex tasks at different heights. Part 2. Robot Specs Apollo is a 72kg bipedal robot. Standing at 172cm with a functional face, this robot can lift up to 25kg, making it well suited for material handling tasks on the assembly line. And while the financial details and the number of robots being trialed remains undisclosed, Mercedes Move demonstrates the automotive industry's growing interest in automation to address growing labor gaps. The RBY1, on the other hand, boasts a series of specifications that make it a formidable force in industrial settings. Each of its arms is equipped with seven degrees of freedom and the single torso has six additional axes of movement, enabling a vertical reach of over 50 centimeters. With a maximum driving speed of 9 km per hour, the RBY1 can accelerate quickly and even take high-speed turns by leaning its body into the curve, dynamically adjusting its center of gravity to avoid toppling. Measuring 140 centimeters in height and weighing 131 kilograms, while the RBY1 isn't a lightweight humanoid solution, its manipulators can each lift a hefty 3 kilograms of weight, demonstrating its potential for various material handling and sorting tasks. Part 3. Future Plans Additionally, the RBY1's artificial intelligence capabilities are still shrouded in mystery, with early videos depicting teleoperation, but Rainbow Robotics has made it clear that full autonomy is the ultimate goal. As research, development, training, and simulation efforts progress, Rainbow Robotics hopes to overcome the limitations of traditional industrial robots and deploy the RBY1 across numerous industrial sites. Similarly, Mercedes' decision to pilot Apollo comes as one of the company's factories in Hungary is grappling with a shortage of workers, with the company stating that they simply wish to understand the potential for robots to fill labor gaps in areas such as low-skill, repetitive, and physically demanding work, in order to allow the company to free up their highly skilled team members on the line to build the world's most desirable cars. This move by Mercedes follows a similar pilot announced by BMW in January where the German automaker is testing Figure 1 robots from another robotics company at its South Carolina manufacturing facility. Elsewhere, Amazon has also begun trialing digit robots from Agility Robotics in its US warehouses, further highlighting the growing industrial adoption of similar humanoid robots. As the demand for automation solutions intensifies and the capabilities of humanoid robots continue to advance, these pilot programs are not only demonstrating the robot's current capabilities, but are also serving as a testing ground for further developing and refining their artificial intelligence, dexterity, and autonomous operation. Because of these advances, humans will soon witness a shift in the dynamics of how factories and warehouses operate with human workers collaborating seamlessly with their robotic counterparts, allowing the synergy between humanoid intelligence and robotic efficiency to unlock new levels of productivity and workplace safety in a new era of advanced manufacturing. Meanwhile, in another move that sent shockwaves through the AI world, Google Cloud unveiled a series of groundbreaking advancements at its next conference this week. Chief among them were the public test releases of the highly anticipated Gemini 1.5 Pro language model and the next-generation Imagen 2.0 image synthesis platform. To start, Gemini 1.5 Pro is now available for public testing on Vertex AI with its language model that boasts an unprecedented 1 million token context window, equaling a whopping five times larger than the current industry leader from Anthropic, called Claude 3. 
such a vast context window opens up new frontiers in AI capabilities, allowing for seamless processing and native multimodal inference over massive troves of complex data. Importantly, this million-token context window represents a huge leap forward towards competently grappling with entire code bases, financial reports, or legal documentation, all while maintaining a rich, coherent understanding of the subject matter. In addition, Google envisions Gemini enabling a new breed of AI-powered assistants capable of truly intelligent discourse and task execution, having potential to serve in applications ranging from expert customer service agents and academic tutors to auditors of documentation gaps and computer code. However, Google also acknowledges that even prodigious context windows have limitations when it comes to synthesizing and reasoning over information in a truly human-like manner. So, to address this issue, Google is doubling down on what it calls grounding, which is the process of anchoring AI outputs to real-world data sources. Vertex AI will now offer tools to automatically ground language model responses using live Google search data or enterprise knowledge bases. The aim is to boost accuracy and ensure AI agents tap into the latest, highest quality information available. Researchers believe grounding is key to developing the next generation of AI assistants, as these agents won't just engage in back-and-forth chats, but will proactively search for relevant data, synthesize insights, and complete complex user tasks in a way that truly augments human capabilities. And while Gemini started its focus on the language front, Google's Imagine 2.0 now takes AI-generated imagery into uncharted territory with the latest incarnation of this image synthesis model being able to now create short, looping living images from text prompts, which are four-second video clips rendered at 24 frames per second. This allows users to manifest their creative visions as living, breathing scenes, with Imagine 2.0 empowering creators and businesses to bring their stories to life in rich, dynamic ways in AI image generation. The model handles a diverse array of subjects from nature to animals to mouth-watering culinary creations, and it does so with remarkable visual coherency, seamlessly transitioning through multiple camera angles and movements within each living image loop. Beyond animations, Imagen 2.0 packs advanced editing tools that allow users to remove or extend image elements via simple text prompts. Businesses can also leverage Google's SynthID digital watermarking to invisibly mark synthetic media, providing content authentication in an era of rampant misinformation. And as revolutionary as these releases are, Google insists they're just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to generative AI's world-altering potential, as the company continues to lay the foundations for an AI-augmented future.